Hello my friends, I'm Clover and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku and today we are solving Circle Gets the Square by Philip Newman. This is an anti-Renbon Sudoku. That means we have normal Sudoku rules, so replacing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outlined 3 by 3 region. And also there are kind of these greenish goldish colored lines in the grid and along each of these lines the rule is that there cannot be any pairs of digits that are consecutive anywhere on the line. So for example, because there is a 2 right here, there can't be a 1 or a 3 anywhere else on the line. Because there's a 7 there, there can't be a 6 or an 8 anywhere else on the line. So it probably makes sense that this is quite restrictive. We're going to start in the top left corner here. Because there's a 2, this line can't have a 1 or a 3. Because there's a 5, this line can't have a 4 or a 6. So the only digits it can possibly have are 7, 8, and 9. Now it can't have an 8, because if there was an 8, the other digit, either 7 or 9, would have to be consecutive with the 8. So that would be broken. So that's going to be my 9, and that will be my 7. Here, we have a 3, we have an 8, so we cannot use a 2, 4, 7, or 9 anywhere, so the remaining digits are going to be 1, 5, and 6, and we can't use a 6 because there is a 6 in that region. So this works out like this. So these are going to be 2, 4, 6, and 9. That can't be a 6, that can't be a 2 or a 9, that can't be a 6, just by Sudoku. Now we're going to move to the bottom right corner. So we can't have a 1, 3, 6, or 8 here. So we have 4, 5, and 9 as our only possible remaining digits on this line. Those can't be 4s because there is a 4 in the region. So that's a 9 and that's a 5. Here we can't use 4, 6, 7, or 9. So these have to be from 1, 2, 3. Can't use 2 because just like up here, symmetrically, 2 would be consecutive with both 1 and 3. So we can't use a 2 at all. We've got to go 1, 3, just like that. Now, on, on this line, we need a 1, 4, 6, and 8, and it checks out that those digits do not have any consecutives. That's not a 1 or an 8, and that's not a 4. Okay, by Sudoku, we have to have a 7 right here, and by Sudoku, we have to have a 3 right here. Those are just hidden 7 and 3 in the um, region. Because there's a 3 here, we can't have a 4 anywhere on this line, so the 4 has to go right there. And because there's a 7 here, we can't have a 6 anywhere on this line. So 6 must go right there. Now if we look at these corner regions, we need 1, 4, 6, and 9 here. And we already have a 4 and 9 in this row. And because there's a 7 on the line, this can't be a 6. So that's a 1. So we can finish that entire corner region. We're going to do the same thing up here. We need 1, 4, 6, and 9 here. We have 1 and 6 in this row. And because there is a 3 here, this can't be a 4. So it must be a 9. And that's going to be a 1 and a 6. Now if we look at this row, we still need a 2. It's going to have to go in one of those cells because it can't go on the line with the 3. And we also need a 5 and a 7. So we have some combo of 2, 5, 7. And also we have a 1 over here, so that's now my 8, and that's going to be a 1. We can start filling this in. So we need 2, 6, 7, and 8. And these can't be 6 or 7 because those are in the row. So that's going to be a 2 and an 8. And now we can't use a 7 here because it would be consecutive with the 6. So that's going to be a 6. That can't be 2 or 7, so that's 5. And that finishes off this part of the grid. Now we need 1, 7, and 9 in this region. So that's going to be a 1, a 7, and a 9. And these are going to be 6 and 8, 2, and 5. Okay. We have a 9 in this row now, so that'll be a 2 with a 9. In these cells, we're going to need a 9. It can't go in here because there's a 9 in that region already. And then these are going to be 2 and 4 to finish off the row. Now I'm going to need a 3, a 5, and an 8 in this region. That'll be a 3 and 8. And the 9 can't go with an 8. Neither can the 7. So that'll be a 3, not an 8. So now these digits are going to be 5 and 8 to finish off the row. And these are going to be 1 and 3. These guys are going to be 2 and 4. These are going to be 3 and 8. These are going to be 1 and 7 to finish off that row by Sudoku. And I need a 3 and a 9 here. And an 8 and a 2. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's lovely Circle Gets the Square. The link to check it out yourself is in the description of this video. And I will see you again in a few days.